What's up, Laker fans? Lakers have signed Contavious Caldwell Pope to a one-year, $18 million contract. Let's take a closer look at his game. Perhaps the greatest value that KCP will provide is a backcourt made alongside Lonzo that can operate in the pick and roll. He's very good at taking the pull-up jumper when the big soft hedges. He's effective enough at this to where this isn't an inefficient play overall. But what I'm most excited about is his passing ability out of the pick and roll. He's very good at hitting the roll man with a pocket pass or making the skip pass. While he didn't assume a lot of the ball handling responsibility in Detroit, I think he's ready for more of it. He had a better than 2 to 1 assist to turnover ratio and makes some very nice reads. The synergy data shows that KCP's teammates didn't finish particularly well out of his shot creation, but I think this is a case where the tape shows more than the numbers do. Like here, this is a beautiful pass, but he got charged with the turnover. Even Baines points to him and lets him know that it was his fault. He shows some real high-level stuff on his skip pass reads. I imagine Lonzo and Ingram on the receiving end of a lot of these. He knows how to read pick and pops as well, which I imagine he'll do with Lopez quite a bit. Speaking of Lopez, he's a good post-entry passer, which will be more important this year. Every once in a while he'll throw a pocket pass at a big man's ankles or a lob that has too much air under it, but all in all he takes good care of the ball. Detroit played at a slow pace, but KCP really runs the floor hard. Watch how quick he gets out here. Transition is his second most frequent play type. It's easy to envision Lonzo hitting him with outlet passes as he's streaking up the court. He spots up behind the three-point arc a little more often than I'd like to see in transition, but he's capable when he does. He's very good on unguarded jump shots, so this gives him an opportunity to get more of those. He's capable of leading the fast break as the ball handler as well. but he likes to pull up from three when his team's got numbers and transition with mixed results. Detroit liked to put KCP in the left-hand corner and use him on handoffs. His ability to go full speed and then stop on a dime serves him well here. A lot of these actions resulted in a mid-range shot, but he's capable of making this from three as well. This also bodes well for his ability to make threes in transition off of Julius Randle kickbacks. He can curl these and shoot floaters off them if he needs to, but he's only okay at them. And these handoffs are another area where I'm impressed with his passing ability. Lakers use more off-ball screens than handoffs, and KCP can do that, but he's usually not going to get all the way to the basket. He's also going to be asked to shoot more threes than the mid-range shots he shot in Detroit.
KCP is very good when all he has to do is catch and shoot on a spot up attempt. I didn't see him relocate very often as he does here, which would help increase his attempts. But once he has to put the ball on the floor after attacking and close out, he becomes considerably less effective. KCP is one of those guys who will sometimes drive you crazy because he'll miss easy shots at the rim. He can throw it down in the open court, but overall he isn't a good finisher. His shot selection can be frustrating as well. This includes a lot of long, unnecessary twos as well. Hopefully the Lakers coaching staff can get him to make better decisions with respect to efficiency. Lastly, although he's effective in certain actions, KCP is in a real high volume score. Between him and Lonzo, there isn't a lot of end of clock shot creation. But beside that, KCP fits in well with the Lakers on the offensive end. He's very good in the pick and roll, which will make Lonzo's life a lot easier and can operate off of the ball as well. He also fills a lane in transition very well and should give more opportunities to do that on a faster paced team. Alright, that's all the time we got for this one. The defensive video will be coming up in a couple days. I stayed up all night to get this video to you guys as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, please click the Patreon link in the description and kick me down with like a dollar per month. Thanks guys, I'll catch you next time.